Tonight's 7 News headlines, the Commonwealth Bank is the first of the big four to act on today's interest rate rise, mirroring the 0.25% jump. Teachers have confirmed they'll strike tomorrow, rejecting a last-minute peace deal. The family of murdered American Scott Johnson says he's now been given dignity after his killer was sentenced to 12 years jail. And tech billionaire Mike Cannon-Brooks plans to force AGL to go green after becoming the company's largest shareholder. Now, here's Angie with Sydney's Weather. Thanks very much, Mark. We have another spectacular day ahead tomorrow, much like today. Our top in the CBD this afternoon was 24 degrees. That is well above the May average, following a low of 14. It was warm right across the metro region, thanks to those northerly winds. Camden reached 23. 24 was the top at Manly and 25 at Mascot. If we pick up the current satellite image, this dream run is mostly thanks to a high dominating our weather. Under the influence of that system, skies are clear over most of New South Wales with those warm northerly winds just driving onto the coast. We are watching a trough and cold front approach from the west, though. That will bring showers to the state's inland first, reaching the coast by evening, with a cold air mass to follow closely behind. So around the capitals, that change reaches the southeast first. Adelaide showers and a top of 17 degrees. Melbourne and Hobart also expecting grey skies, just 16 degrees. Canberra to see afternoon showers, a cloud day prior. We're looking at a top of 18. Brisbane avoids that unsettled weather. Fine, 27 degrees and settled for Darwin and Perth as well. Statewide, we have that low pressure trough sitting through inland New South Wales and the cold front through the southwest. So that is going to cause some wet weather to sweep across the eastern half of the state. We're only looking at light falls associated with that though. Across Sydney, it'll be another patchy morning fog, mainly limited to the west this time. A sunny day will follow. Very very warm for May standards, 26 degrees forecast through Richmond and Penrith, 25 for Manly and Mascot. On the water, northerly winds will steadily increase during the day to reach 20 knots offshore in the late evening. In the CBD, tomorrow will be lovely and sunny once again. Very warm too for this time of year, 25 degrees. But we will see some showers develop during the night. They will continue into Thursday with about five millimetres forecast. It won't last though. It'll be clear for Friday. But the wet weather will be replaced with a run of much cooler days. The weekend, especially chilly, we're looking at single digit minimums, tops around 20 or 21 degrees, then showers to return to kick off the working week. Nice and warm tomorrow before that cool change though, Mark. A superb Wednesday, Ants. Thank Being you. Like that is 7 News for this Tuesday. We'll have updates for you throughout the evening. I'm Mark Ferguson from all the team. I hope you have a great night.